Yesterday in England, the lockdown police fined a man £200 for having a drink of tea with his friend in his friend's house. Just think about that, £200 for going to a friend's house and having a drink of tea. And the police when asked, they said, should you find him for that? He said, well, we asked him where he'd been and he told us a lie. Now think about this. What that actually means is this young guy was walking along the street during lockdown. The police have driven past and seen this young guy walking. They have obviously pulled up their car or approached him on foot and said to this young man, where have you been? And the guy who is on his own obviously wanted to see a friend. <clears throat> Very human thing to do. He wanted to go and see his friend and maybe somebody to speak to. Because as we know, mental illness and anxiety is through the roof during this period. So the guy obviously tried to explain that he's been for a walk or something and eventually admitted the criminal offence of having a drink of tea with his friend. And because he had a drink of tea with his friend in his friend's apartment, the guy was then fined £200 on the spot. If the guy refuses to pay that fine, that goes to £400 and it keeps doubling. This is how England, Boris Johnson's government, are treating young people right now. Young people are to have no contact with each other. They're not to speak to each other. They're not to visit each other's house. They're not to have any physical contact. They are not allowed to date. They are not allowed to see a friend. They're not allowed to do anything at all that normal human beings will do. Why? Because the government have told us that they are infected, they are diseased, and they will probably kill someone else with their infections. That is the kind of England we are living in right now <clears throat> that is rife with suspicion, with doubt, with fear driven and pushed by a heartless bunch in power who are insistent that young people like this young guy find two hundred pounds for drinking a cup of tea with a friend that is the kind of fear this government are pushing on the advice of the two mad scientists who are now running what goes on in England with these young people again it is pretty shocking it's hard to believe that we are doing this of course, we could tell you many, many stories. We could talk about many, many stories. But that is just one that appeared in the paper yesterday. How long are we as a nation going to tolerate putting up with this kind of oppression? How long are we going to tolerate listening and taking this kind of mental and physical abuse from the authorities? How long are we going to do that? Is it going to come to the point where much, much worse is going to happen? Where you will be picked up, thrown into the back of a van and taken to prison for 14 days and isolated because you've had a cup of tea with your friend. These are the things, the tiny things that always open the big doors for a more oppressive state. Let's not forget the policies and the thinking behind Boris Johnson and his government initially. Those nationalistic, <clears throat> self-righteous, almost puritanical approach that we are godlike and the public are stupid. There's only focusing on trains and focusing on this and focusing on that. But ultimately, we have multi-billion pound hospitals called Nightingales lying completely empty when we are being told through the media that people are dying on the streets. If you're a young person and you find this kind of thing is starting to happen to you, 
What are you going to do about this? Am I saying stand up and rise up as a revolutionary? Of course I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is we cannot tolerate this much longer. As a nation, as a public, we have to make a stand. We have to do subtle, soft rebellion where we start to open our shops, where we start to do open gyms again, do this en masse. One or two here, there and everywhere is not enough. We have to make a stand on this government. We have to push through at least a vote of no confidence and get these guys out while protecting our health, protecting our nation's health and protecting each other's mental health. Let's not forget that. We won't forget these fines. We will not forget these fines and this abuse of these people. £200 for having a cup of tea with a friend in a private apartment is absolutely shocking and disgraceful how we are treating people during this lockdown.